across the Channel or over Colombo, Britain's fighter pilots are second to none. Also second to none is the Royal Navy, without whose unfailing courage and efficiency, plus that of the Royal Air Force and the Fleet Air Arm, this war would have been lost long ago. In spite of every other call upon its hard-worked ships, the Royal Navy must always remain in readiness for a major engagement. And our battle fleets go to sea in preparation for just such a fight. Gunnery is kept up to the highest possible standard. And of course, battleships like Duke of York and King George V keep a sharp lookout for the enemy by aerial reconnaissance. Recent RAF reconnaissance, by the way, revealed the presence of the Tirpitz hiding in a Norwegian fjord, or rather trying to hide, but the photograph makes her efforts at camouflage look a bit silly. Anyway, the 40,000-ton sister ship of the ill-fated Bismarck is there, ready for sea. And there may be two more of the same class in commission by now. So the Royal Navy prepares for action, guarding our convoys to Russia in all weathers against the enemy's powerful raiders. And please don't forget that even if we have enjoyed a touch of spring at home, is not always quite so pleasant up north. And it isn't always like the North Pole up north. Sometimes it's more like rounding Cape Horn. Heavy weather even for a battleship. Destroyers have to heave too. As for Victorious, well, this shows how she can take it. The Royal Navy has never fought a harder war, but the men in the ships are always ready to fight, with a good break or without, in fair weather or in foul.